Subject is Jim Cornette follow up question. Hi there, K100 fam. Thanks for taking my question. Just a quick sidebar. Take a while to guess what this is. It's an insult to somebody. Flaming Gala, Bloody Drongo, and the steaming, stink ass, stink, stinking sack of shit, Abel is so ugly and disgusting that when he was born, his whole family joined him in crying, and later on his mom was fined for littering in public. That was brutal. Let's consider it. Do you think that the Jared Avia this is this is the type of stuff that that you come up with if you like you listen to Raven's comedy? <laughs> One thousand percent. On to my question: With the recent Venom Venom being spewed at by Jim Cornette on Disco, that was not actually Venom. I was curious to know if you did two did work together back in TNA, and if so, how was that working relationship? Cornette joined TNA in June of 2006. Also, what were Conan's thoughts work with Corny as a backstage producer in TNA whilst he was working on the LAX story? Did he work closely with you? Homicide and Hernandez at all. Also, do you guys agree with the likes of Cole Cabana that Jim is just too behind the times and outdated when laying out his vision of what wrestling should be? Thank you as always. All the best, Jared. Uh, just to put a, a, a cap on the on the Cornette stuff. I worked with Cornette in TNA. We had a good relationship. I was a fan of his. We'd sit down. Uh, he told great stories. Um, the only issue I have is that when I sat down with him and told him the story of the Invisible Man and the Martian Invasion angle, I was clearly explaining to him that they were jokes. He took that as like I was actually being serious. Mm. Uh, no, he took it as shtick. He knew you were probably not being serious, dude. Right. But well, he, he said, just, now I got something more to right. talk about when I do yeah, conventions so, so, right. and podcasts. So, so just, just, just to clarify this, there's no heat with, with me and Cornette over, over anything. He just cuts promos on people when he, like this whole thing started. That's how he with gets he, paid. He's the right, best he, at what he trolls everybody he, and he's great he at told, doing it. He told, somebody told him a subversion of a story. He didn't check exactly what the story was and he commented on it. I said, hey, just check, check, the, check your facts first. That's not what it said. So that, that's all this was. Of course, all the fans get involved and they blow everything up. So it's no big deal. I don't, I don't care about this. I have nothing ill in this situation to, to have said about Cornette other than that he, was, uh, he said a couple things that weren't entirely accurate about, partially accurate, but not entirely accurate about me. Uh, so Kolka, Jim, Jim is a little bit behind the times, but it's like, I'll be honest, if you listen to him like, talk about matches and stuff everything and then work i mean he echoes a lot of the stuff we said like he might be behind the times but the people that are like ahead of the times right now are doing stuff that the people behind the times can see is like you're going down the wrong road so it's like i don't i don't look at him as being behind the times i'm just saying he's like like me is like the the new school guys have got a little bit too new in the school and have like forgotten that the old school stuff some of it you, you shouldn't just discount it it still works that's what i would say i don't what do you agree i don't think you Jim's behind the times, but I think that perception really came from his time at Ring of Honor. Now, was he a good match for the Ring of Honor style and stuff? Probably not. Probably not. You know. Yeah. Um, now, some guy, the guy's asking that how much he had to do with LAX as a producer. Yeah, something how like much? That? How much did he work with you guys at that time? Yeah, zero. Mm. He had nothing to do with LAX, but I did get along with Corny. I thought he was funny, entertaining, and smart. Um, you know, we would have production meetings and me, me and him were the only guys asking questions. Everybody else was just going with the flow. So I always respected him and I think he respected me for that. And, um, you know, I've never had any problems with him. He doesn't come on. I've asked him to come on our show, but he, for whatever reason, he doesn't want to come on. Um, but, you know, he's right. I agree with him on some and on some I don't agree with him.